Welcome to Mun Zion's Kids for Christ. Welcome back to another Kids for Christ. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day. Thank you for bringing us through another week. God, I thank you for your grace and for your mercy that is new that you have allowed us to see. Lord, be with us as we learn more about you. God, I pray that you will give us ears that hear, that you'll give us a heart to help us understand all that we will hear today. Keep us safe, in Jesus' name, amen. It's spring and the weather is hot. But that means it's time to eat fruit and nothing but fruit. And guess what? I love fruit. In fact, I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. 
Today is our introduction to a new series, and it has to do with fruit. Let's go to Ariel for our scripture, and then we'll hear more about it. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Thank you, Ariel, for our scripture. We're going to be spending some time over the next few weeks learning about the gifts God calls the fruit of the Spirit. But first, we need to understand what the fruits of the Spirit are. The fruits of the Spirit are gifts that God gives to us to help us to live lives that please Him and show His love to those who don't know Him. These gifts are seeds that God grows inside of us to show others what His love looks like. These seeds are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All are things Jesus modeled for us while he was here on earth. Can you do those actions after me? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Today we're going to see how the fruits of the Spirit can thrust us forward into God's will for our lives. We'll need a balloon, a piece of string tied to two points, a straw, and some tape. We are the balloons. We want to get from where we are to where God wants us to be. Let's see how this works. Why didn't it work? <gasps> Maybe we need those gifts we talked about earlier. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I'm going to blow air into the balloon, and that's going to represent the fruits of the Spirit that the Holy Spirit gives us. Let's try it now. The air rushed out of the balloon and created a forward motion called thrust. And that's exactly what the Holy Spirit does for us through the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. They help to thrust us from where we are to where God wants us to be. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Have a great week. See you next time.